Okay, so in this problem, we're going to be solving getting someone's paycheck based on the amount of hours they've worked. And the way it works is basically if a person works more than 40 hours, then that will be overtime pay. So let's say you work 60 hours in this week, then 40 of those hours will be, you'll be earning 20 bucks an hour. And for the remainder, you'll, um, you'll be working, you'll be earning 30 bucks an hour. And then from there, you can get a total. So this will be the standard regular pay. This is the overtime pay, right? So um, let's say, yeah, so this will be regular. And then this is OT. This is OT here. So from here, what is the input that we actually need? Well, the only input we need here is the hours. Because when you think about it, we are given, we are told that overtime pay is 30 bucks an hour and regular pay is 20 bucks an hour for every employee. So we don't need that as an input. That's already a known. Okay, so let's look at the second question. What steps does the program need to follow to process the input? Well, we're going to be doing basically two main steps. First, we're going to see if ours is, ours is greater than 40. And then from there, we're going to calculate cost accordingly. So if it's greater than 40, we need to account for the overtime pay. If it's less than 40, we can simply just do uh, we can simply just do hours times 20, which is the standard rate given. But obviously if it's greater than then we need to account for we need to do uh, like so we need to do hours times 20 plus overtime hours times 30, right? So these are the two possible steps. And then the next question says, we'll use decision branching. Are you accounting for all possible values? This is our decision branching. We're doing a conditional if statement. And then these are our two branches. Without overtime, and then with overtime. So those are our two possibilities there. Okay, now let's look at the pseudocode and see how what that might look like. Okay, so here's the pseudocode. We have our function. We're going to call it calculate paycheck. What are the inputs? Well, we said we established earlier that ours is our only input, and the output is going to be the paycheck. And we're saying our conditional. If ours is greater than 40, then we know we're going to have overtime, right? So regular pay is going to be 40, and then those remaining hours are going to be overtime. So in this case, it says hours minus 40. What does that mean? Well, let's say hours minus 40. Let's say 60 is the hours minus 40. That gives us 20. So we're saying we have 20 hours of overtime. And then we're simply returning regular pay, which is going to be 40, times 20, because, you know, 20 bucks an hour, and then overtime pay times 30. But hey, if the hours are less than 40, then we're simply going to return the hours times 20 because we're not going to have any overtime. It's just going to be the standard rate for the amount of hours. If someone works 33 hours, then they're going to be paid only 20 bucks an hour. They didn't reach the threshold of overtime. So this is what the pseudocode would look like. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me.